Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to estimate the value of square root of 9.18 by using binomial theorem. We know that square root is simply to the power 1 over 2, and we can express this decimal number as an addition of two numbers, which is 9 plus 0 0.18 and the whole thing to the power 1 over 2. But then what we need here for the first term is 1 if we refer to this formula. So in other words, we should factorize 9. If we take out 9, we shall left 1 and we plus 0 0.18 divided by 9 which is 0 0.02 and the whole thing to the power 1 over 2. By using the law of indices, we should have 9 to the power 1 over 2 which is 3 times 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power 1 over 2. I'm going to first let fx be equal to 1 plus x to the power 1 over 2. By using the binomial theorem fx is equal to 1 plus n is the power 1 over 2. A is x for this case and we plus 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial x to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1 times 1 over 2 minus 2 divided by 3 factorial x to the power of 3 plus 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1 times 1 over 2 minus 2 times 1 over 2 minus 3 divided by 4 factorial x to the power of 4 and so on. From here, we can make use of calculator to evaluate the value. First term is 1, second term is 1 over 2x, third term is equal to fraction 1 over 2 and we times 1 over 2 minus 1 since we have minus here so which means that bracket is very important so we have 1 over 2 minus 1 and we close bracket after that divided by 2 factorial which is equal to 2 and this is equal to negative 1 over 8 and we have x squared and for the third term we have 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1, which we have entered previously. So what we have to do here, we can make use of answer. The term that we have entered, we just ignore. So we enter the extra term here. So we times 1 over 2, and we should minus 2 for this time, and divide by 3 factorial. Recall that 3 factorial is equal to 1 times 2 times 3. And for 2 factorial, we have 1 times 2. We have entered 1 times 2, so which means that extra here is 3. In other words, we just have to divide 3. And this is equal to 1 over 16 with positive. And we have x to the power 3. By using the similar idea, we just have to enter the extra term for this term. So we have times minus 2 change to minus 3. Divided by 3, change to divided by 4. So this is equal to negative 5 over 128. And we have x to the power 4 and so on. What we need here is 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power 1 over 2. In other words, we want to determine when x is equal to 0 0.02. So f 0 0.02 is approximately equal equal 1 plus 1 over 2 times 0 0.02 minus 1 over 8 times 0 0.02 to the power of 2 plus 1 over 16 0 0.02 to the power of 3 minus 5 over 128 0 0.02 to the power of 4. To make life easier, I'm going to first enter the value 0 0.02 and press equal. The value is now stored in answer and we can now press this series easily. So we have 1 plus 1 over 2 and we should times answer minus 1 over 8 and we times answer square and we plus 1 over over 16 and we times answer to the power of 3 and minus 5 over 128 and we times answer to the power of 4. Let's press equal and we obtain 1.0. 
0.00995 rounded to the nearest five decimal places. Therefore, the value that we are looking for is simply 3 times answer. So this is equal to approximately 3.02985 rounded to the nearest 5 decimal places. And hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.